Good morning, David. Bill Thompson for Outside Insiders. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed your extra hour of sleep this morning. I don't have time to talk. Okay. Well, we can uh, chat while we're walking. Were you? Uh, do you remember when Donald Trump? told NATO that they should spend more money on their defence and uh, stop importing oil and gas from Russia. That was four years ago. He was ahead of the curve, wasn't he? Thank you, David. There's no need for, uh, no obligation on uh, the insiders panellists to uh, stop and chat with an old bloke with a GoPro but I uh, I enjoy the opportunity to raise issues with interesting people and uh, get their responses I think it's also telling when they, they don't give a response at all I like to put it on record that they've been asked Bill Thompson for Outside Insiders Delighted to report that the the mattress that has been here for two or three weeks uh, has disappeared this morning. Um, the uh, the brown spot suggests that it was probably uh, here recently. Anyway, progress has been made. <laughs> Meanwhile, the grass is starting to grow long again, so we'll see how long it takes to mow it. as though a uh, <coughs> beamer is just slipping into the underground car park I uh, missed it as it was turning the corner I presume that's the treasurer there uh, his other security Beamer was, uh, has been parked outside the front of their ABC for half an hour, three quarters of an hour. I was hoping to uh, have a chance to chat briefly with the treasurer if he uh, emerged from a car out here and was uh, walking to the front entrance. entrance. <coughs> but it appears I've missed my chance. I, w I wanted to uh, wish Josh well <coughs> and ask him if he uh, was concerned that he was going to feel like Chris Rock at the uh, Oscars the other night. Um, <laughs> and anyway, didn't get a chance. I was also going to uh, hopefully ask whether, uh, well, I've recently heard a some commentary that uh, their ABC has reached a settlement with Simon Major my understanding is that the matter in question relates to the 2017 guilty plea by former ABC children's producer John Stevens pleading guilty to the indecent assault of a then 14 year old boy Simon Major while uh, the two of them were on a apparently a location scouting trip in the Gosford area for uh, an ABC children's TV production. John Stevens pled guilty to indecently assaulting a 14 year old boy while uh, taking the boy on a ABC sanctioned location scouting trip. This story was uh, reported in the Daily Telegraph in Sydney in 2017 and that's when I first saw it. And here we are in April 2022 and I have attempted on numerous occasions to ask ABC 
Junos around the ABC studios in South Bank why ABC News has never reported the story and I never get a worthwhile response from any of them if I'd had a chance to chat with the treasurer I had hoped to ask him in those circumstances if ABC News has been covering up I will also add that I also became aware of two other, two additional matters where individuals had come forward to make complaints that they had been sexually assaulted as children by John Stevens. Two matters were before the courts when this bloke died in December 2019. I actually flew to uh, Sydney in 2019 to uh, sit in on a court hearing at the Downing Centre Court in Sydney in relation to one of these additional pedophile matters that John Stevens was facing. <clears throat> he was actually in court the day I was there and uh, I, I regret to this day that I, I, I didn't get a photo of the guy <clears throat> entering the, uh, the court building earlier in the day and or leaving the court building at the end of proceedings. There was another matter, <coughs> R versus JS, that was uh, in progress in Queanbeyan at the time of uh, John Stephen's death in 2019, and both of the both the Sydney matter and the ACT, the Queen uh, uh, Queenbian matter, uh, lapsed uh, after Stephen's died. So the victims in those matters, as far as I know, uh, have uh, have never received the justice that they deserved. Nor has the ABC, nor has ABC News, to my knowledge, ever reported on those matters either. I regard the uh, actions of ABC News as a deliberate cover-up of in-house pedophilia in the organisation uh, in the 1980s. And who knows, <laughs> who knows what goes on to this very day? Who knows who knew what when? And, has, and have remained silent about it. But what I hoped to ask the Treasurer was, uh, given what I understand to have been a recent settlement by ABC in relation to the Simon Major matter, whether it is appropriate for ABC News to continue to receive federal government funding when, in my opinion, ABC News has been engaged in a deliberate and long-standing cover-up of in-house pedophilia, and I find the, the performance of ABC News absolutely disgusting. Bill Thompson for Outside Insiders. I would like to have had the opportunity to uh, ask the Treasurer if he feels that Australia's security is enhanced at the prospect of uh, Xi Jinping's military having a, uh, a base in the Solomon Islands. <laughs> um, we certainly live in interesting times. Um, I have said for a long time that anybody who believes that climate change is the foremost existential threat to Australia is uh, looking in the wrong direction. 
they should be looking at Xi Jinping's Marxist regime who uh, are not only uh, in command of the country with the with a CO2 emissions total which is larger than the rest of the developed world put together. What Australia does is two-thirds of five-eighths of bugger all by comparison. On top of their uh, environmental uh, degradation credentials, they've been threatening the island of Taiwan with a takeover. They've successfully taken over, uh, abrogated the uh, uh, agreement that would uh, have uh, kept separate arrangements for Hong Kong for another couple of decades. They've been militarising the South China Sea, causing disputes with numerous <coughs> other countries in the same region. And uh, on top of that, in my opinion, they uh, unleashed the, uh, the global COVID pandemic, which has so far killed about 6 million people worldwide. As I said, I would like to have uh, asked uh, the Treasurer whether uh, he felt Australia's security is enhanced at the prospect of Xi Jinping's military having bases in the Solomon Islands. Good show, David. Um, uh, I'll, I'll, mate, I, um, I, I was hoping to ask um, Laura why she thinks the ABC has uh, never reported on the guilty plea by John Stevens to indecently assaulting a 14-year-old boy while they were away on an ABC-related uh, scouting uh, expedition. Um, do, you, uh, do you have any concerns that the ABC might be covering up an in-house sexual assault matter? Thanks, mate. As I've said before, um, oh well, here, here comes Laura herself. Good morning, Laura. Bill Thompson for Outside Insiders. I've heard a suggestion that I've heard a suggestion that the ABC has reached a settlement with Simon Major uh, about a long-standing matter that dates back to uh, the guilty plea by former ABC children's TV producer John Stevens. Um, I, I, I don't know who Simon Major is. Do you know who John Stevens is? No, I'm sorry. I... Do you know who um, George Pell is? I know who George Pell well, is, but I don't know anything about any of those The, the 7.30 show did a big story about George Pell's uh, sexual know, assault matters. I know nothing about this case. So look, up, look up John Stevens, Simon Major. If you don't do it, ABC is covering things up. I uh, intend to circulate this uh, as widely as possible. Laura Tingle is the political reporter correspondent for 7.30 and uh, she apparently has never heard of John Stevens or Simon Major. Uh, she knows all about George Pell because that suited their ABC to uh, flog that story. But uh, the guilty plea by John Stevens to uh, 
a charge of indecently assaulting a 14 year old while uh, the two of them were on an ABC related trip to Gosford. Nah, that's not, that's not for ABC to uh, report. And I'm, I marvel at the effrontery of individuals who purport to be journalists uh, but when people try to raise important issues with them uh, they get on the phone and walk away in my opinion the federal government should announce that until such time as ABC management publicly acknowledges that a then ABC children's TV producer pleaded guilty to indecently assaulting a 14 year old while the two were on a ABC related trip the government should cut off funding to to their ABC I just think it's an absolute disgrace and Laura is yet another purported ABC journalist who uh, has refused to make any comment and who purports not to have heard of John Stevens or Simon Major. I'll await developments. Bill Thompson for Outside Insiders.